UBC is one of these premier co-engineering research center. We have definitely the top few in the world. Yeah. So we focus mostly on developing structures that they can sustain big earthquake shaking. And ideally, it would be very economical to build this advanced high performance structure system. We develop new structure system and we also um, developing computer simulation and experimental testing technique to make the structure not just work better but more economically. So as what you see on the presentation, we're pushing the boundary in both the uh, structure fuses and new structure system and now towards this modular structure system. Vancouver is in a highly seismic zone called Pacific Ring of Fire. So if you follow the geography or the map, if you go down, there will be west coast of the United States, Mexico, Chile, and go around will be New Zealand, and going up Taiwan, Japan. This whole area is called Pacific Ring of Fire. In this ring, uh, the tectonic plate are moving and we have a lot of big earthquake. The magnitude 9 earthquake happened in Japan, New Zealand, uh, sorry, in, in uh, Indonesia, and, and we are expecting similar magnitude here in Vancouver. In Toronto or maybe in New York, they don't have such a tectonic plate, so the act seismic activity are relatively lower there. We are developing new system, which could be more higher performance than the traditional system. And um, the idea of that, why is it higher performance? Tradi traditional system is built so in the event of earthquake, uh, it will be damaged. And our goal of it is that, and why do we want to be damaged? Because damage is the way to absorb the earthquake energy. So what we wanted to do is that we are actually putting what we call structure fuses. These kind of devices are put into the building to suck up the earthquake energy. So it's just like electrical fuses that we put in there. So after the earthquake, I can just easily replace a few components and the building is as good as new. And that's that new high performance, or we call it resilient structure system now. Usually we don't use the truss. Truss is very, very efficient in taking gravity low but it was never really designed to take seismic load just because the members are thin and easily buckled. So what we want to do is combine truss with the steel fuses so we can actually utilize the advantage of spending trusses to spend very long distance with very few materials. But to improve the seismic performance, we add in the steel fuses in there so it can suck up additional earthquake energy. Obviously it has disadvantage if you don't deal with seismic because it's just thinking about putting a Lego together. If you shake it, it's going to fall apart. So it's very important for us to design a system which we can transfer the earthquake force safely to the foundation. So you needed to start doing what we decide, either using fusers or one way of the retransferring the force so the whole system can work well. <laughs> 